What's good, YouTube? It's Jay here. This is not clickbait. Actually, well, okay, okay, okay. Look, I know the title is a little clickbaity, but bear with me. It's for a good reason. So, as we all know, I've been doing an Empire War remake playthrough as the Rebellion because my Empire One got scuffed because of an update. My Criminal Underworld got scuffed because of an update. And guess what? My Rebel playthrough is now scuffed because of, a, because of an update. Prior to me recording this one, I just got through recording two more episodes of this playthrough, which I'm sad that I probably will not be posting for the sheer fact that I don't think I have my headphones turned on. We'll be posting those two for the sheer fact that this new update changes the game for ground combat. I, again, it, it, I'm not kidding. It's actually really f incredible. So I'm going to show you guys kind of what I'm talking about here. We've got uh, a bunch of new changes kind of to the to the way that ground combat works overall. We're going to be taking a look at some of this really quick as the Rebellion versus the Empire on the easiest difficulty, because the last time I tried that higher difficulty, I got boned. There was no winning that. So we're gonna start off a quick little skirmish match to kind of show off the new changes to regiments, which are now in what you call formations. And they look incredible. We're gonna bring in our first light company. We're gonna bring in our first light company. I'm going in. I don't know if it's in skirmish or not. I believe the changes are in fact a skirmish. Oh, okay. I thought I thought I thought it was a loading for a second. As you can see. This is one unit. All four of these tanks are now classified as one unit. They all have individual health, but they are now in the new formation system. They all follow an organized system pretty much where they will all stay together. They'll stay in a formation together. They won't separate and go rogue and go crazy. This is the benefit also for the AI. This benefits them greatly because it allows them to actually use ground units in a more coherent fashion. So. What's cool about this whole system also is that infantry and tanks when grouped together, the infantry will always be going first ahead of the infantry. So let me show you what I mean. So if we were to like group this team up, for example, have them move, say, over here to this mining facility, the infantry now go ahead of the tanks. Light tanks will stay in the second column, medium tanks will stay in the middle, and then the other tank types will stay in the farther back. But yeah, this is just by default now. This is to save a lot of confusion from all the chaos that Empire War Ground kind of brings to the game, which we all know it can be pretty ridiculous. Empire War Ground has always been horrific <laughs> and it'll give just an overall more cinematic feel to it and it'll make the AI better. The AI is now a lot more intelligent when it comes to its attacks. Um, oh, wow, the Empire's just, they're coming to the base. Okay, as you can see right here, the AI, they stick together now. With, with how Empire War has always worked, Especially on the ground, the AI, the tanks, they always went off on their own to do whatever the AI calculated was the intelligent thing to do. It, that's just how Empire War has always functioned. And it was a terrible system because it allowed the player to basically pick off individual units of tanks relatively easy and uh, for things just to get wiped out with really no real effort, unfortunately. So with this new system in play now, the tanks, especially for the AI, will stick together a little bit more. And... Um, it just it just makes the gameplay a little bit better. So like now you know we're getting we're getting pushed by these four individual tanks. In the old system, it might have been like one, maybe two, doing their own little individual pushes maybe. Um, but this goes a long way in allowing us to just have an intelligent battle with the AI. All right, so we're gonna get our we're gonna get the floor wiped with us right here. So we're gonna just move on really quick over to a galactic uh, conquest scenario, and I'll show you a little bit more about it. I think this update right here it changes the way that you're pretty much always going to play these ground battles. You're going to think a little bit more with them for sure, because the AI will always have multiple units together now. And uh, it, it's just, it just adds a lot more content to me, in my opinion. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, slap a few buildings here and there, you know, in the production. Um, wow. I just noticed the model sector no longer. Whoa, 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 whoa. The model sector doesn't have its golems. Woo. <laughs> Whoa. I don't know if this is intentional. Oh wait, it says they do have their gold ones. Huh, that's weird. <clears throat> well, we won't think too hard into it. Um, but all right, so we'll, all right, so there's some gold ones right here. That's weird. Uh, so a few new changes overall to how a lot of the mod is played. Gold ones are now restricted to systems and sectors and ideas suggested by me to do a couple of things. For one, prevent the AI from spamming them everywhere. everywhere. Two, to prevent extreme amounts of turtling. Three, it just makes sense. Like certain systems shouldn't, in my opinion, have access to the most expensive and most powerful space station type in the galaxy. That just seems a little silly. 
Some of you might disagree. I, I don't know what to tell you, man. It's, it's probably not changing now. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, get started right here and kind of let things play out. Pop off some of the text that we see on screen. Please read the text for the love of God. It would solve a lot of your issues. And uh, we'll just kind of get things going here a little bit. Get a few units into production. Um, get some troops kind of built up here and there. And uh, just kind of see what we can do here. I've always built up Kessel because <laughs> even though the HUDs 99% of the time usually are very good at taking the planet or the system or whatever. Um, eh, still, it's 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 just annoying. It, it, I like having that, that sector kind of built up. So I'm going to try to see if we can showcase these new land assaults or these new land formations on a pretty decent planet. I don't know where we could kind of start with because most of our places don't really have actual bases that rhymed. But uh, we'll do a little bit of um, moving around and looking at whatnot. Build a few gladiators. Probably check out Rendili because that's always my favorite planet to go to. For the fact that you can build those really cool LAATs, my favorite unit in the game. Um, let's go ahead and get some of these resources. Kind of, you know, upgraded and whatnot. And then we will upgrade this. And then build this. And then uh, watch as we go completely bankrupt, like always. And we'll build one station right here, too. So we're, we're going to have a lot of things kind of at our disposal here. Doesn't look like there's really too much for the Republic forces here. Uh, so we might just go ahead and try and take that out. We'll build up a quick little fleet. Um, but it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot there. So, yeah, like I said, with the ground combat changes pretty much, this gives a lot more variety to the AI, man. It just makes them significantly more intelligent. And um, just universally a lot less stupid because the AI was very damn dumb before. They didn't know how to keep their ground troops together, and they always just ended up getting slaughtered, which was not the goal, obviously. So, let's go ahead and build all this stuff up really quick. Standing by. Uh, Alderaan is pretty stacked. Jeez Louise. Brentall, I'm going to assume, is pretty stacked. Brentall has a Golan. That's right. So we're not getting over there anytime soon. Um, okay, so it looks like Rendili is probably going to be the move. Uh, oh, there's our golem right there. Okay, cool. Um, all right. Let's build up a ton of skip rays really quick. Skip rays are bay. The Republic randomly just got a bunch of more units here. Let's see. What do they have here? Five vinegars. Holy cow. That's a lot, actually. All right, yeah, we're just... We're, <laughs> we're just going to keep these in the high production. Like, seriously. Okay, so we should be able to build some pretty uh, interesting and cool units once we get this uh, heavy vehicle factory kind of built. A lot of this we're going to cut. Don't expect to hear all of this or see all this building. We're here to pr primarily showcase a lot of the new units. We've also got the mixed uh, tank and walker regiments too, which are pretty cool. I have yet to really use those. Um, uh, we, we just need a lot more money before we can actually do any of our expenditures here. All right, so we took out, we took out the orbit of Iran dealer really quick. That, just, that was just a simple auto resolve pretty much. Um, I'm going to move some troops in. I don't expect these guys to really let us stay here long, but we're gonna, that's our goal. Our goal is to try to do as much damage as we uh, humanly can. They've got a big fleet of Corellia, so we got to be a little bit, uh, <laughs> we got to be a little wary of that. But I digress. Let us show them the might of the Empire with the new uh, formations regiment system. Look at this fleet, dude. So the changes to this really are changing the game, literally. Ah, this old map. So yeah, let, let's try this and see. Let's see how this goes. So yeah, the infantry will always go in front. The tanks and stuff will stay behind. Um, yeah, and they just stay in line. It looks really good, honestly. But okay. Where are our field commanders? Well, let's call in the rest of our reinforcements first and foremost. Um, call it a medium tank regiment. Okay. So we can safely kind of group everybody together now. Okay. So let's see how we're going to go about this, because we, we got some really cool ways we can kind of do things now. Carrier, here, 
Uh, let's get all the field commanders. I still don't trust these guys. Let's get them all out of the way. What is this? Ready to pick up soldiers, sir. Com channel open. Uh. Ready and able. Troop carrier awaiting orders. Stormtrooper ready, sir. Welcome aboard, soldiers. I don't really know how that's supposed to work. Okay, I'm getting my buttons a little mixed up here. All right. Okay, we'll make this group three like we always do. Troop carrier here, sir. I shall contact you when we arrive, sir. Troop carrier ready to pick up soldiers, sir. Moving out. You're gonna stay back here. Com channel open. Stormtrooper ready. Ready and able. Troop carrier awaiting orders. THX one one three eight ready, sir. Okay. So we're going to get all of our troops kind of up ahead. Awaiting your order. Awaiting orders. Ready. Um, Stormtrooper reporting. It will be my honor. Yep. Awaiting orders, command. And we're gonna, we're, I'm going to show you basically how this is going to look once board, we soldier. begin our march. Our march to glory for the Empire. Troop carry here, sir. Whoa. All right, men. Take cover. Holy smoke. So this is what I'm talking about. Ready to pop some tanks. Ready and waiting. Let's, uh, let's get a, let's get a bottom right in. Holy smokes, they are melting through our infantry. Okay. Alright, group three, pull back. There we go. Quickly, let's take out those, those juggernauts. So yeah, them being in groups like that makes them infinitely more dangerous. Okay, let's try, let's try moving this together. We shouldn't really keep them grouped up like this, but it's just, just kind of like I said, to show off how it's supposed to look. Okay. All right, so yeah, the tanks are gonna pretty much regroup with each other. Did that explosion just kill these guys? Whoa. So yeah, that, that, that makes things a little bit more different. Um, these troop carriers can't really do anything with us though, which is kind of weird. Okay. Oh! Vehicle explosions kill your infantry now. I wish I knew that. Hot damn. They're all dead. I await your instructions. Awaiting orders. All right, that changes the game a little bit. Let's secure this turret right here. I did not know that the, the, the explosion of those units actually kills your, uh, What's this? I didn't know that. I didn't know that was a thing. Okay, that makes me a little nervous now. Okay. Holy smokes. Bloody hell. Okay, pull back, pull back. All right, we need that bombing run badly. Looks like that was most of their forces, though. Okay. Looks like most of our TX-130 survived, though. Uh, man, we gotta be really careful now. Okay, what do we have over there? Mining facility? Okay, let's, let's hunker down a little bit right here. What the hell just happened? Something's randomly killing my infantry units. I don't know if it's explosions or what? Is that what it is? Huh. Wait, I'm gonna try something.
Can we see if these vehicles explode? Will they kill everything? Yeah, because something something exploded and it killed a bunch of infantry. Okay. I mean, it's working out so far. I really do like the way the system is done. I'm just confused as to what was annihilating my infantry units. Oh, that's right. I forgot. One of the new features introduced a mortar cannon. <laughs> There's now a mortar cannon with the bases when you build them. I forgot about that. Okay. Can we put like a repair base or something right here? Yeah, we need to take that out ASAP. That thing hurts. I did not know that's what was doing it. Wait, did those regiments not drop off infantry? Did they not drop off a lick of infantry? Yeah, kill that ASAP, dude. Hey, let's move on in. Wow, we got annihilated. Holy cow. Oh, we didn't lose our TX-130 regiment, which is good. I gotta remember, though, so there's a new mortar cannon mechanic with the ground bases. They hurt. They hurt pretty bad. Um, Didn't expect that. I'm not even gonna lie, I didn't expect that. Because I just saw my units explode, and I'm like, what the hell? Why are all my shit, why are my troops just literally imploding on themselves? But okay, I noted, gotta be a lot more careful with that one. But that's interesting that those didn't deploy any infantry units. Um, I don't think that's how that's supposed to work. Just to be, just to be clear. The Republic Hardliners have a lot of ships here too. So that exactly won't be easy. Um... Honestly, it feels like the AI on this difficulty got a buff, but I think it's also because they have the new formation system So they don't just suck completely at ground battles now um, Yeah, I know a lot of people are gonna complain about it. I already see it coming. It's gonna be way too hard for some people Which is fine. It's, it's okay to admit things are a little too difficult um, In that situation right there, I got annihilated from the mortar cannon. I honestly forgot that was a thing I don't know how I feel about that one <laughs> um, But Either way, either way, it, it, it's it's whatever. It doesn't really matter. That thing, it's just. I, I wish there was a way like you could build like a shield unit or something. Maybe bring that in preparation. But I, I digress. That's just adding way too much to already very, very, very stuffed, very full, very thick mod. So we're gonna keep on building up our forces a little bit over here, and same over here. Just spam as many skip ray blast boats as we we can puke out, man. Because it, it, <laughs> we're gonna need them. We are going to need them in uh, very large numbers. So let's build a uplink station, relay station, whatever the hell it's called. It's actually really useful. And then let's go ahead and upgrade these mining facilities over here. Get tier twos out of them. And that's why we do this. That is exactly why we do this. Now, it could be the Hapens, or it could be what I would assume to be the Huts. Now, this isn't a big enough fleet to kill us, just to be perfectly clear. But, it's enough. It's enough to be annoying. This is basically what happens at the start of every playthrough of this mod. If you play as the Empire and you own Kessel, this is going to happen almost every single time. <laughs> With the new formation system in place, I do kind of wish now we could bring in more troops. I feel like that would make for some really epic footage. But I digress. That would probably also break the game in more ways than we could imagine. So. And the last thing we need is people complaining about lag. Good lord, we do not need people complaining about lag. Responding, sir. On the alert. Standing by. 
Okay. Let's get all these nice little tech upgrades and whatnot. Got plenty of uh, skip rays to basically do everything we need them to do. So, we're gonna blaze through this. I honestly might just skip this part of the video. We've seen this battle, I don't know how many times now. Decoding transmission. Okay. Waiting your orders. Guzani cruiser captain speaking. All fighters to the speed. I am speed. Attack order What the hell is this? What's the crate gunships? Let's hit the let's hit the shield generators on that. Decoding transmission. Station, you focus out on this. Bombers, you actually are gonna hit this over here. Okay, shields are down. Oh my god, the, the whole ship is down actually. Okay, let's hit the engines on this one next, I guess. All right, maybe we won't skip this because of how quickly we're running through these guys. Okay. We're definitely taking our fair share of losses. We're being targeted. We got Ready for action. Yeah, our shields have barely been touched. Ready for action. Imperial Gozani one one seven standing by. New target. Okay. Let's hit all these missile banks. Again, the skip rays will do all the work for you. Some people want them either nerfed or moved up attack. I think them being a tier two probably wouldn't be a bad idea. They're a little they're a little they're a little damn good. I'm not, I don't mind it though. Honestly, I'm having a good time. And obviously, if I'm having a good time, everybody's having a good time, right? Okay, let's shoot at the engines on this really quick. Light this sucker up. And then we're gonna bring in our starfighters over here to kind of reinforce the bombers that we've got over here. Actually, no, we're gonna chase down the remnants of these crate gunships. That's it, shoot it down. There we go. Okay. Yeah, the bombers can pretty much do whatever we need them to do. Okay. Lots of still, lots of remaining starfighters over here. Let's take these out. Okay. Yeah, no, the, the skip rays are phenomenal, man. Let's go ahead and shoot out this uh, Tur uh, Turata class really quick. Oh, this is uh, our boy right here, uh, Papara the Hut. All right. Let's go ahead and fast forward through this a little bit. Okay. So they're in full retreat. Engines are shot out on that. Bombers should be able to finish off these last remaining units over here. Uh, shoot these guys down because they're hyperspace capable, I'm pretty certain. Jesus. That's just evil. That's it. Ah, almost. <laughs> All right, well, that was pretty straightforward to standard. We are so used to this at this point, man. That's just what happens all the time. That's what happens every single time. And they never learn. That's the funny part. So now that we're kind of uh, in a bit of a safer position, I think we're going to get us in the production of some larger vessels so, uh, somewhat. All right, we're doing another battle. We're going to do one at the Krillia system. A good chunk of the uh, forces here actually vacated the area to move on to Lorinar. And that's where they're currently assaulting us. I believe they have three Venators. Three Venators and a, tech two, a Tier 2 station. Look at that. It's it's just a clump. Okay. Well, we've got four Victory Class Star Destroyers. And all the skip rays in the galaxy that you could want. So, I think we should be okay. Their station's kind of a little bit isolated. 
Okay. Calculating jump to light speed. Navigating. Let's move closer. Okay, we're right outside the kill zone. Light speed. Where's the target? Preparing for hyperspace jump. Setting course now. Okay. We will arrive shortly. Reinforcements en route. We'll get there. Let's get this gladiator moving. This should be a pretty strong force, Let's get I would this say. Gladiator moving. Reinforcements en route. Helmsman, take us out. I didn't mean to call that in, but you know we'll take it. Reinforcements en route. All right. Gladiator cruiser. Okay, we got plenty of bombers. We got plenty of fighters. Gladiator we got Darth here. Vader. What more could you ask for? Let's get our fighters in the middle. Bombers on the left over here. So there was originally an idea kind of put together potentially to do a formation system with uh, space, but a lot of people advocated that they are like within the team that they prefer having full, un uncomplete control of their uh, units, you know, like no bullshit. Concentrating firepower. I'm dropping cash. All right, all bombers move in. Yeah, hold the position right here. Crew, get ready. I'm gonna try to. I'm, try, I'm gonna try to get that little bit of an uh, imperial fire. accents kind of going. All forces, uh, you're gonna hold this position right here, and we will. <laughs> Holy cow! As soon as the soon as the soon as the bombers arrive. All right, what the hell? There we go. Okay. You three, you four rather. Focus all your fire on this, on this Venator class Star Destroyer. Holy cow. Okay. All right. What are your orders? Now the skip rays have arrived, they should be able to drop this thing's shields at any moment. There we go. Alright, all bombers, I need you to refocus up over here. Okay. Let's help out the starfighters a little bit. Start shooting, start shooting down this area. There we go. Our craters are slowly dropping, but honestly, we're doing a lot better than I thought we were. Got fighters on the flank over here. How can we assist? I can't switch positions. Maximizing weapon systems. Okay. The skip rays are pretty much free reign to tear that ship apart. Gladiator, moving in. All right, this is, uh... All surviving fighters, pull back to the, to, to the fleet. Crew, get ready. Missile tubes identified, commencing our attack. Okay. All bombers, pull back. Head home before your ship falls apart. Out. Now. What the hell is that voiceover? Holy cow. We're standing by here. Yes, Commander. What are your orders? Focus, I'll fire on that Venator cruiser. Take this bloody and turn to the fight. Watch yourself. You're a very popular target. Have a short piece. Scanners on me. Okay. Starting attack position. Continue fire. Light them up. Engaging the enemy. This is honestly very believable. A group of Republic loyalists who didn't want to follow the rule of the Empire. Preposterous. Tie fighter here. Changing to intercepting on target. Target destroyed. Alright, let's start focusing fire on that last venator in the middle. They have strong resistance. Okay. Let's bring those Gazadis. We'll use them for vehicle repairs. 
some guy just ready to win. Be, be brave, everybody. <laughs> There we go. Full power to weapons if you haven't already. Let's throw another repair field out if we got any. Here's one. Standing by. Okay. Take out some of those uh, LATs. There we go. All fighters retreat over here for a hot second. Let's get you fixed up. Full power to weapons once again. Annihilate that victory. And that Venator. Alright, skip race. Your turn. Move back in. Holy cow, this is beautiful. <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of let this one play out a little bit. This is a little, this just looks gorgeous. Ooh. This is so cool to watch, dude. That's it. Shoot down those Y-Wings. Ah, yes. I love when my missiles uh, phase through. Oh, Venator. Or uh, Acclimator. Crew, get ready. What's the mission? We're standing by here. Yes, Commander. All ships, refocus your fire on the Acclimator behind us. Gladiator engaging the shield generator. Wipe them all the out. Let's just call him the Emperor for satire. I got him. <laughs> yes, wipe them all out. <laughs> these rebels will never. Uh, these rebels will know true fear. What, 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 what did they say in episode three? Once more, the Sith will rule the galaxy. And then we shall have peace. And then Q and can kill children. That explosion sound effect sounds like it came from Code Geass when the nightmares in that anime would blow up. That's literally what it sounds like. And I don't know why I know that, but that's what it sounds like. Our enemies are ruthless. If they find out, we shall be killed. We will wipe them all out. Somebody tell me in the comment section that I have a very good Palpatine voice. Thank you, by the way. All right, well, Vader's dead. Sweet mother of... Wow, that's a lot of stuff. All right, let's sell some of this shit. All right. Well, you can have the planet. You, you can have the planet, dude. I'm okay, man. Four Venators, two Victories. Hmm. I mean, that's not too terrible, honestly. Definitely something they can't match us with, though. Okay, reinforcers are inbound. The only thing that's gonna suck is those are all gonna be acclimators. That's the only thing that's gonna suck. Okay, yeah, we're not we're not screwing around this time. That battle taught me a whole lot. I am never gonna take them for granted again. Cause we got abs we got our ass kicked, for lack of better words, man. We got boned. Let's go ahead and send Palpa Boy back. Uh it's a Coruscant. So we first ready, Commander. Um Wow, Palpatine really was cocky. Randomly saying the rebels will refuse to attack here. Um Okay. We're gonna garrison a bunch of skip rays there just for protection. Probably send this back as well. Champala. Oh! We have the damn planet. Um. Wow, I've never had them come that close to our doorstep before. <laughs> the rebels won't attack here. <laughs> yeah? You wanna bet? Arc 170 station. Ah, I'm not gonna do this. It's not a big fleet, honestly. It doesn't really hurt our population values that badly either. We'll be okay. Okay. I'm making sure I bring enough troops to annihilate these assholes. Let's let's make sure we bring enough. Oh, what the? Wait, hello. 
Where did you come from? <laughs> All right. I think if I sell this, I can't build the other base type, right? Um, all right. Well, the Mandalorians are here. Hello, Mandalorians. Hopefully you're having a great, great day subscribing to the Jay the Gamer YouTube channel. And uh, hopefully you're wearing some of that really sick drip from our sponsors over at EC77. Hey guys, Jay here. I know the sellout sections are your favorite part of the video. So I hope you will sit here and watch all 20 seconds of this advertisement. I want you all to go check out the link in the description below for my sponsors over at EC77. They've got some really cool winter gear, summer gear, spring gear, fall gear, all the great seasonal pieces of gear. We're going past 20 seconds. Go check the website out. Thank you. And use code JTGamer with a three instead of an E. Let's uh, give it the go, eh? Cause hot damn, we got annihilated before. This is the same load screen as before. Or do we do we look at this one already when we attacked it in space? No, we're in Delia at this one. Wow, look at this place. Okay. Where the hell is that mortar? Cause that's gonna be asinine. I don't really. I, honestly, I really. <clears throat> On paper, I usually do not mind interesting things like that, those kind of mechanics, you know? But I think my universal problem with them is, like, they're just so hard to, 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 to sometimes expect. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna get used to it, obviously. I don't think it's like a bad mechanic or anything. It just catches me the fuck off. Ready to pop some tanks. Yeah. Yeah, just stay on the outskirts right here. Okay. Yes, um. I'm at your disposal. Did I group these with somebody? What is it? Seven? Eight? Hello? Here we go. Six. Okay, yeah, you guys can all just kind of hang back here. Ready and able. Troop carrier awaiting order. Okay. Oh shit, that's right. This is a system. All right, men, take cover. Let's go. Roger that. Let's get the troops in. Okay, we might not want to do it like this after all. Hold on, let me do this really quick. Tank buster ready. Target locked. Okay. Um, okay, I want I wanted to group these up appropriately to make sure we just don't get absolutely annihilated. Yeah, this is going to be a fortress, so I forgot we got a, got a lot to deal with here. Ooh, shit, hold on. Let me move my infantry down here a little bit. Yeah, you guys stick more to the right. Okay, um... Let's move you guys back here a little bit. Holy shit. That's a lot of troops moving in on us. There we go. There's so much shit happening right now. I see some A6 juggernauts moving in on us. Okay. That's for the reinforcements to show up. Yeah, we need support over here bad.
Please take out that. Please take out that bunker. Please take out that bunker. There we go. Retreat a little bit. Pull back. Pull back. There we go. I see maybe we can call them from a different attack vector. Those bombing runs, but I guess not. Alright, let's pull back a little bit. Alright, we're calling in more reinforcements from above. Pull the troops back. Okay. Damn, here comes the juggernauts. They're not going to be alone. Okay, stay in the fight here, men. That's the mortar cannon. I actually don't like that. Yeah, I, I don't like the mortar cannon at all. I, I actually don't think that's no longer needed. <laughs> Yeah, it just took that one shot to me realize I actually do not like that thing at all. That's just kind of bullshit. <laughs> we already got a lot to... I think, I think... For the record, for the record, this is not meant to sound rude or anything. I think now that we have a lot more to kind of worry about on the combat side of things, especially on land, I, I don't think we need a mortar cannon that can cross map us that we can't see. I, I actually don't think we need that anymore. Okay, so we don't have any infantry units because they all got sniped, literally. Literally got sniped. And they also didn't spawn for some reason. Okay. There's so many forces, man. Okay. Just keep it going. Come on, focus your guns on this. Guys, focus your guns on this. Let's pull back. Let's, um... I'm scared to move infantry, man. Like, I don't know what to do now. That's actually a little jarring. There we go. Yeah, take that out. Okay, let's let's get rid of these last few watchtowers. On our way. Yeah, I, but but um, all right. Now I'm able to think a little bit here for a hot second. Yeah, I don't think I'm a big fan of the mortar cannon. At all. <laughs> I, I, I've seen a lot of insane things in this that I honestly realized weren't actually kind of like ridiculous, you know? I, I don't like that thing, though. That, that's actually just kind of insane. It just insta-wipes all your infantry from across the map. I, I don't... I, I, I know the goal of this is to teach you not the infantry club, which I think it... Why are we not spawning infantry units? Is that because our field commanders are still alive? Or something? I get what the goal of it is. I think it's just a little too good, though. 
Cause it's like it just it just wipes you before you can really like do anything about it. Now, great, I definitely think you shouldn't clump infantry together for sure. Um, but again, like I said, it just I wonder if it's gonna fire now. Okay. Let's try to secure this landing zone or this reinforcement point. Yeah, see, like, it being able to shoot that far is kind of ridiculous. Okay, we got more tanks inbound, at least. Like, that, that's just unfair. I think that's actually kind of bullshit. Like, what do you... What do you do? Alright, I don't know what we're gonna... Okay. I don't know what the hell we're gonna do. Hmm. Let's try to get these guys down here just as quickly as possible. Yeah, let, let, let's make sure we annihilate this fucker. Okay. So overall, I think all the changes are phenomenal. But th that mortar cannon, I don't like that thing at all. Actually, I think there's a base or something over here. Maybe? I don't know, these guys are all toast anyway. That's the power generator. Well, let me call it more reinforcements, because pretty certain at a certain Let's point, go. if you run out of reinforcements, they, uh... The game just auto-loses for you. Come on, come on. Anything to just to neuter that damn damage output. Let's see if we can strike them as they're cutting across this ravine. Yeah, we're not spawning infantry anymore. That's actually insane. Okay. Okay. Maybe we'll get more infantry out of this group? Nope. Okay. We are uh, having a bit of a bug right now. Let's get these e web troopers over here, maybe. Try and secure this area. Okay. Okay. Um... They're almost here. Ready Ready for I'm at your disposal. Let's make sure we guard these guys with our lives. Literally, we depend on them. But overall, like I said, I'm, I'm a big fan of having to do like really hard, big battles for the most part. But yeah, that, that mortar cannon just tips the scale way too hard. Like, it, it's just... It, it's literally, like, it, it's so good. <laughs> it's way too good. <laughs> I just think it needs a little bit of a tone down on its damage overall. Hold on, wait a minute. I saw some explosions over here. Make sure there's nothing over here. As I thought. Let me take these guys out quickly. Shit, shit, shit. Move it, move it, move it. Oh, we can't capture a single point now. That's unfortunate. This is the base over here, I'm pretty certain. Hmm. Okay, I'm pretty certain this is the base over here. We're just gonna go ahead and wipe this out really quickly. Okay. 
Keep it going. This is another turbo laser tower. Okay. <laughs> Where's their base at? Is it over here? Let's see if we can do a little bit of scouting around, maybe. see this turret right here for this tower okay let's quickly wipe these guys out if we can Are we just not going to shoot at the tanks? This is very annoying. All right, we're going to finish this battle here and now. Please spawn me infantry units. This push would be a thousand times easier if we had infantry units. Okay. Let's pull back again. This is so fucked, it's not even funny right now. Okay. Look at all these troops. Okay, let's go. Okay. Another TX-130 over there. Weapons activated. We'll wipe them out. Just shoot at the base. Literally fuck everything else. Just destroy the base. Please. Yeah, I don't care anymore. Our regiments are all dead anyway. Might as well just wipe them out while we can. Jesus, man. Ooh wee! All that for one planet. Holy smokes. Yeah, well, it's it's the Corellian system, so I'm fine with it being there. I, like I said, I just don't like the mortar cannon. I actually don't. I think that takes away a little bit from um from the uh, I don't want to say things in a way that makes it sound you know disrespectful or whatever um but I definitely do think it takes away from ground a little bit more now for sure because I mean like I said you spawn in you, you move forward a little bit and then you just get cross mapped by a cannon that literally wipes your infantry out in one shot like your infantry are not going to survive it so I don't know how you would go about fixing that but I mean I'm going to cut that battle up probably a little bit because at the end that really wasn't um, a great battle to show off after after a little bit you know we kept just getting smacked from across the map literally so eh, I don't really think that's worth showing a full length uh, we kind of got the point across there seems to be a bit of a glitch with, with, I'm going to do this in the next episode because I don't really feel like doing this battle after doing those con uh, uh, consecutive long battle thank you so much for watching everybody be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I mean, I'm enjoying it overall. I think the formation system is really cool. Uh, mortar cannon. I do think it allows, it makes the ground combat with, with, with the formation system. It's made the ground combat a little bit more enjoyable in my opinion. The AI are a little bit more active. And when they attack, they attack. They attack with a force. They push you. And I'm okay with that, honestly. The whole point is you're going to lose stuff. And that's what you kind of have to accept. But with this system, you don't have to control as much, you know? So, as far as that cannon situation is concerned, 
Uh, I'm going to talk to the team about it and see what their thoughts are kind of on it and where everybody's opinions kind of stand with that. Because, like I said, it's kind of really hard to enjoy the formations when you, where you're literally, literally getting shot across the map from a very powerful high-velocity cannon or whatever you want to call it. So, But um, that's my thoughts. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. May the Force with you all.